welcome back to Dicing with Death. Georg. Want me to roll for initiative? Or... Well, I think he's pacing down below. Yep, I pop out of my extra dimensional space. Can I just, like, hang my torso out and... How sure. would you just hang your torso out? Like, like what? What's gonna lay, hold you? Lay in the extra dimensional space and bend at the waist, like just sticking my head and shoulder out the pocket. So I think like leaning, like laying on a table. Okay. And like hanging your head and an arm off the edge. Yeah, that's like, fine. Cast a spell like that, or do I need to be better situated? I mean, I guess I'm just activating the amulet. Yeah, that's fine. You can, as long as your the section of your body where the spell is cast, including your head is yeah. outside that's fine yeah and then i think my my left arm is clutching the is like under inside my shirt clutching the amulet so that it's not visible but i do mm -hmm. believe i need to make contact with it and the chest is not enough like it, it touching my bare skin is not enough I need no to that's like... fine yeah as long as it's touching you okay. uh okay yeah, yeah. so wait. It's, yeah i don't want to backtrack on what i've said already earlier you might not need to have it in hand um, mm -hmm. uh, um, yes, I think it needs to be, you need to have your hand on it to cast yeah. spells from it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm clutching it, but it's still all concealed under my robes. Um, you... And I pop out and roll 5d4 damage. Yep, you spread your fingers, look to him, small darts of light emerge. I warned you, flee interloper! 16 points of damage. Ooh. And if I can, I'll like pop back in. I, I don't even care. I'll, I'll stay hanging out to see what he can do. All right, does. the uh, lights shine around him, splattering through his armor. He takes a few steps backward and says, uh, I sentence you to death. Initiative. Initiative. Okay. All right. Um, he goes at six, which is before okay. you. He begins to climb up the the house once again. This time he uses the window to help climb up, so he gets on top of the wall without too much trouble. Mm -hmm. The peasants have long scattered off the, your building. Yeah, um, and so I, I am 10 feet above him still, probably. Right. He gets to the the apex of the frame on your house and walks out to directly underneath your dimensional space uh, and holds the shield above him, completely blocking his body from view. Oh, perfect. He doesn't get to, He doesn't even see me touch the amulet a second time. But you can also not see him to magic missile him. You're joking, right? You can Why? see you can see his shield. The magic missiles don't like curve. They won't like spread around the shield and hit him. You need line of sight. I can't like see his feet or like Nope. It's a big ass medium shield that he's holding and he know. does have a sword in hand. He, okay. Yeah. And he's got a sword in hand. Uh maybe, you can't see. The shield right, so blocks everything. A while ago, right? But he just climbed out of here. He would have had to like resheathe his sword. To, yeah, he resheathed his sword to climb up. Uh, and and he, once he's on he top, he's blocking it. And you haven't heard the sword be drawn, but you can't see anything. Um, so he yeah, stands I, directly below you, shield in hand. Yeah, uh, I climb... On my initiative, I climb down and cast a magic missile. So I drop the rope, climb down 25 feet. He shouldn't have a sword, so I should... But he's, no, so he's directly underneath your thing. If you were I, to like, climb down, you would like... His, then I like would, drop on his shield and climb down the rope. Okay. Let's hope to God. I mean, there's no way he could have drawn his sword. He would have had to. Yeah. 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 Give me an initiative roll. I already did. I, oh. I go after him. Oh, oh right. Perfect. Okay. So you drop down. Well, I need to get advantage to cast magic missiles. So I drop down. I think I climb all the way down the rope. Okay. So you had the rope so actually like up with house. you in extra dimensional space. You drop the rope down out. Yeah. And climb out of the extra dimensional okay. space. So the rope clatters on his shield and begins to slide off one end. Yeah, and I want to. I don't know how much movement I get in one turn. I would like to climb all the way down. What do I climb at one third? One third. Do you I still have climb spider climb down. going? What's that? Do you still have spider climb activated? I don't think so. But let's count. Actually, that would. It's been a while that you've been up there. Uh, it's been what? 
seven minutes. Seven or eight minutes, something like that. Maybe ten. Spider climb three round. Spider climb lasts eight rounds. Ooh. Can we say this is the last round of a spider climb? Sure. I mean, I think we skipped like five minutes for the talking. Yeah. And this is like round. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll say this is the last so round I, of spider climb. So I climb at movement six. I should be able to climb down out a door of my house. All right. You. In this round, right. Yeah. You scamper down. Uh, bounce off his shield. Kind of repel all the way to the ground. I I I leave. Shooting, taking a magic missile shot as I as I flee the scene. Okay, uh, you do have eyes on him. Give me five d four plus five damage. Two points of damage, total of thirty one. Oof. Um. Okay. He still stands on the roof. Uh, he still stands. Give me an initiative roll. Yeah. Um. I got no more. The town guard, as you open the door, is around you. Uh, mm -hmm. Kel Lydia is also in the streets. She's. Do they get out of my way, or do they try to apprehend me? They have their weapons out. They have their weapons pointed towards you, but no one is taking a step in your direction. It's very much frightened town guard face to face with wizard that they're supposed to apprehend, and they're not sure what to do. They're supposed to apprehend me. No, they're supposed to apprehend this interloper. Um. Uh, one turn to summon my phantom steed. I did not realize. Ooh. So I guess those scenes before were long, protracted rituals of me in a crowd summoning a phantom steed. Yes. All right, I don't have time to do that now. He's slower than me. God. He's so close to dead, I can smell it. There's blood in the water. I, got, I would have to charge another amulet. All right, roll me initiative. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. Nine. Uh, you go first. I what are you doing? I throw a rock at him and then keep leaving. <laughs> There's some, I, I have no ring. I'm not even proficient in my dagger anymore. Yeah, or you can. Can't be ring. I guess I throw a rock at him at minus five. Yeah, so. roll to hit. No, it clatters off of his armor. Um, and um, then you run. And I, yeah, I run. The town guard lets you pass. They back out of your way. Uh, but keep their spears at length with you to make sure you can't touch them. Um, and, and you retreat. I guess you don't look back uh, ever. I don't, full, I mean, I, I leave the, I get a, yeah, I get, I yeah. move my full movement right that round. And yes, I do look back. All right, you see. Um, I think I head up the hill. You see him kneeling on the board, the, the apex of your house, and a blue light surrounding his hand on his chest that stitches up his wounds. Yeah, so I think I, I run up the hill, up the, this road here, right? Ooh, let me get us to the map so I can see what you're talking about. Uh, up which road? Okay. This road here. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and then, okay, so that was the round that I threw a rock at him. Right. Next round, let's roll initiative. I want to get somewhere secret to charge the amulet. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, you guys I go think I'm at the same time. I think I'm only moving at movement rate nine now that I've reduced my strength. Let me get on my books. Um, Regal Goblins doesn't have strength tables, do they? No. Um, if you go to... Let's... I've got PDF somewhere on this thing, but I might be able to find it on Purple Worm. If you go to regalgoblins.com slash character hyphen sheet dot PHP, you can input strength and stuff what's your strength right now it's eight uh so base is 35 light is 50 medium is okay, one so uh, is 65 that does encumber me unless i can unless I, there was something i dropped as i was fleeing we'll see, we'll see. he was moving at movement right nine as well yeah you're both lightly encumbered mm -hmm. um, so you run around the corner 
some of the foot soldiers are following from a, a good distance just to keep eyes yeah, on I you. Run, I run full on up the hill. I don't know what okay. the scale is in this map, but I mean, I would, I would, I, and I should be able to, or is it, is it, it's uphill towards the tower of purification. The right. Of purification, right. Right. Okay. So the paladin's out uh, on foot, well behind you. You've got like a good round head start on him. Yeah. Um, there are other foot soldiers following from a distance, trying to just keep eyes on you and see where you go. Yeah. Um, you um, make it up to that main road. I mean, I, I charge the amulet. As you're going up I the road? I like to make it surreptitious, but it's not, a, it's vis it's obvious when I harvest a soul, but when I charge the amulet, is that more than just me cutting myself? And Yes, there are corresponding lights and colors. It is a very obvious magical effect to anyone who's looking. Okay, but not not outright evil blood magic. Right. I, I try and conceal the evil blood magic aspect of it. Okay. Uh, you make it to that... Can I charge two magic missiles in one go? Yes. You make it to that top road up there, and you see Mother Ullman and her people out in the streets doing their typical things. They what? No, hold the phone. They aren't uh, out, in, out in the east reclaiming the temple of what's-its-face? Mother Ullman is here with a few of her followers. Less than typical, but she and her... This is before I've charged the... This is, like, as I'm trying to find a place to... Yeah, this the... is as you're getting to that top road, before you've charged the amulet. Mm -hmm. um, she looks to you I and turn... begins approaching. This, so what, I'm confused. At the, so I haven't. I mean, I would like to stop before she can get to me. Yeah, you. She's not back. running to you. She's walking. Yeah. So I think I I turn my back to her to charge the amulet. Okay. But I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, you charge the amulet. Uh, the you. One. The I, old frail woman is slowly making her frail way yeah, towards so you. So I stop short of the temple of purification. Mm -hmm. so I'm like in the street. I'm like I'm like I think I'm at the corner or something. Like I get to the top of that street. Can I still see my house and the paladin and the roof? Um, yeah, this is a, a hilly area. You can easily spot your house because it's the one that doesn't have a roof. Um, so yeah, you can see the roof. You can see your building. Um, it's been... You... I think at the end of this round, you will just barely see the paladin start to come around that corner to that long road leading up to the Temple of Purification. He's, he's pretty far behind you. So I, I, yeah, I, turn, I mean, so that round I turned my back. I, so I'm facing the paladin actually, mm -hmm. charging the amulet. Back to Mother Ullman. Um, uh, Mother Ullman set, calls to you as she approaches. Carl, so good of you to come visit. Have you seen the light of Nadinus? Are you here to pay your respects to the true mother of nature? No word from Dinas, but Astaire sent his loonies to break into my house. Um, and I, I'm kind of distraught. Like I, I, I shrug her off as she comes. I'm, I'm gonna magic missile the paladin again, like on the next round, if I, if I've got line of sight. Okay. Is he still on the roof? Uh, no, he's on the road, walking towards you. Yeah, he's... I just. Yeah. So Mother Ullman is like right next to me. She has come next to you. Uh, he's coming up this area now. <clears throat> um, that's a full round to get to you. Yeah, I I think ah uh, whatever. I got bigger fish to fry. I I tell Mother Ullman that she may not want to see this. As I I mean I try to secretly touch the the amulet and cast my magic missile so that Mother Ullman doesn't see what's up. But all right, you I got a magic missile to cast before it gets any more out of hand you yeah. splatter magic missiles in the direction of the paladin 20. yeah holy shit he takes the blows to his body and stops in the middle of the road clutching at his chest and then he moves off uh sideways and disappears between some buildings down some alleyway i roll for initiative i guess mm-hmm nine Mother Ullman says, What? C Carl, what? That. Who I is that man down there, that knight? On my initiative, by the way. What? I go invisible on my initiative, by okay. the way. Uh, you go invisible at nine. 
as, as Mother Omen saying, Carl, who is that man you are fighting? Carl, <gasps> Carl, what is going on here? Carl, Carl. Um, she shouts after I, you I for a little I, while. I, I, I'll for it. Fuck Mother Omen. I'm still mad at her for last week. I guess she saved my life, but salty about the whole wraith experience. Okay. Like, all right, zealot. Come out and fight, you coward. And I, like, zigzag down the street to try and find him while staying invisible. Okay. Um, he's there. Da, 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 da. All right, so you're zigzagging down this street looking for him. Yeah, let me see how slow I'm moving. You see a bunch of soldiers that have like pressed think... themselves into alleyways and are peering their heads out slowly or poking heads out and poking back in. They seem to be terrified of your magic. What's the If I turn invisible and set stuff down, uh, how does that work? If you had something on your person and you set it down, it no longer becomes visible. All right, it no longer becomes invisible. It becomes visible. So I'm hobbled. Let me... There's no encumbrance. I'm trying to... I'm at six strength now. Um, which me? I'm trying to figure out if I'm moving at movement six. Twenty-one to medium. So I think I'm moderately encumbered. Okay. Which puts me to movement rate six and combat penalties. But I'm invisible. So I start wandering around alleys to look for this paladin. All right. Um, it's uh, the first few alleyways you pass. You see a few town guards in uh, with spears. Okay. They're, they're like hiding from. They're hiding from the magic missiles that have sh been striking down the paladin. Um, they're not going to poke their heads at and risk their lives over over nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and you hear a, a whinny of a horse from down closer to the river. Okay. Um, and then you hear the I guess the distant hooves of galloping horse. Ho uh, the sounds of galloping horse hooves. And as you come so to the next uh, area where you can look left and right, the next set of alleyways. This, okay. Alley so I'm, where am I on the map? Am I, am I at this intersection yet? Um, you're like right around here-ish when you hear these noises. Okay. He, but he went in an alley around here, right? He did go in an alley somewhere around here. Okay. Um, and as you get to this point and you hear these sounds and you look out to the west, you see a brightly clad and armor uh, knight or paladin galloping on a war horse to the west. I pursue. Um, if I can see him, so I guess next, as soon as I can roll initiative, I cast a magic missile. Sure. I, let me see the encumbrance of his heavy war horse. Yes. Good. Can you move and get mounted in the same round? Or you can do like a half move and get mounted in the same round? Something like that. Yeah, you can half move and mount. Or you can mount and half move. If you started next to the horse. Did I even catch the paladin's name? Yes, you did. Steel okay. Truthseer. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, he does move at a faster movement rate than you on his horse, though. I move at movement rate 6, of course. But like... Okay. Yeah. So he moves half that movement. So, so he should be like, what, like 150 yards out into the plains? Um, or a little more? No, because his horse can move. Movement rate 15, probably? Yeah, 15. So yeah, it can do 150 yards in a round. Plus however far away the horse was parked or whatever. Right. Um, so I've still got sight range at the end of that round, correct? Unless he, like, hid? Right, no, because it's just open plains out to the east. Oh, to the west. Roll me initiative. 
Whew. All right. <laughs> he is, I think, out of range of your spell by the end of this round. There's no range on magic missile. Yes, there? there is. Oh, there is. I thought there wasn't, and then we looked it up, and then there was. Why are you cheering? That bastard deserved to die. Uh, range is 60 oh. yards plus 10 yards per level. Yeah. So 110 yards. I yeah, and at the end of this round, he's more than 300 I, like, yards away. I shout out. I mean, I'm still invisible. Right. I, I shout out. Yes, flee, coward. Okay. I don't know. I got no more insults. I have sap to six strength. I follow him. Fuck this guy. I'm invisible. You follow him I through just, the planes? I follow him through the planes. I follow the horse tracks. I hunt him down and I I was gonna keep him alive and at least like take him to jail or something. At this point I may just ambush him in the planes and harvest his soul in the name of Malchus. I was trying to play nice. All right. Fucking uh... fanatics. He gallops for a good five minutes. Uh, so his horse takes off down the plains. Uh, you almost lose um, sight of him, but it's a pretty I, flat area. I'm going to take a... Actually, I, I will... Oh, God. I think... Yeah, I find a bush somewhere and hide my spell books. Okay. Hide not my spell... Oh, God. How do I... Yeah. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I find a secret hidey spot. Like I like I follow him for a little bit. As soon as I find a good hidey spot, at least temporary hidey spot, I keep I deposit my stuff. So I will keep with my clothes weigh five pounds. Spell book. Like a quarter staff. I guess I keep my quarter staff. I don't know. So I guess I'll have my my clothes, my own spell book, my quarter staff, and I guess I can keep Randall's spell book in that case. And the dagger will bring me to twenty on the nose, so I am unencumbered. But uh, there's a nice, healthy pile of loot in a bush out in the plains somewhere. Okay. So get robbed. I'll do my best to conceal it, but yeah. So you wait. I'm having the, the waitlist stuff as well. Yeah, or you you walk and eventually you find the paladin uh, camped on the side of the road with his horse. He's taken off his helmet. He's sat down. Uh, his armor is part way off, and he's like examining the wounds on his chest. How badly wounded does he look? Does he look like he needs another five magic missiles to the face, or maybe just a knife in the back? Well, a knife in the back could kill anyone if enough criticals are rolled. Um, <laughs> do you really want to... I mean, he's he looks more healthy than an average man, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Do I say anything as I come upon his camp? Or do I just blow him to pieces? I... Well, I approach his camp. I mean, as as I get, I mean, I guess I, at this point, so you're telling me I'm 110 yards from his camp. If yeah, you can be 110 yards from his camp right now if you'd like to be. I think it'd be more like dramatic if there was like some some final confrontation or scene. Georg strolling into the camp, having some heart to heart with this guy, or even just like covering his mouth and knifing him in the back would be more visceral. But I I think what really happens is Georg comes upon him sitting sees walks within 110 yards and pops five more magic missiles. Roll me 5d4 plus 5. 16. The paladin clutches his chest and collapses to the ground. And I jog over to the camp. Alright, his life... It, I check his pulse. It's and, still beating. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stabilize him. Is, is, what's the horse doing? Is this like a holy avenger charger horse or whatever they're called or is it just a war horse uh how could I, you tell the difference um 
It would, I think, I mean, I guess, I guess if that's a question, then it's just a regular horse. I mean, it's not like a glowing white unicorn of. No, it's not a glowing white unicorn of light with rainbow hooves and. But you know, I mean, you know, fairy I mean, poops. You could see anyone could look at my horse and, upon somewhat quick inspection, realize, "Holy shit, that's a magic horse!" Right. This is or, a non-magical also, horse, but this is. Also, as I walk up to it, does it get spooked and go fleeing, or does it like turn to me and like shout it, like start speaking to me in common? No. Like, you shall be smite in the name of a stare. I will avenge my owner's death. No, no, no. There's nothing magical happening so I with this horse. I approach the camp and stabilize the body. Stabilize the body. Okay. Like bind, bind him up. How? But like he's bleeding out, basically. And yes, he is bleeding out. Yeah. So I do. I roll an int check, I guess, to stabilize him. Yes. Thirty-one. Um, Not a problem. The doing? The hor- I mean, like, so the horse is the horse like like. Do I get the horse as part of the loot? Or is the horse an adversary? <laughs> this is what I'm trying to get. The horse right now seems pretty neutral. It's standing nearby. So I proceed to just loot the fuck out of this paladin. What do I say as I'm like bandaging him? I don't even know. Um, let's Good see. night, sweet prince. I gave you your chance to end this amicably. He's got a steel longsword, steel splint mail, a medium shield, bronze and wood. Um, clothes, the, his holy symbol of a stare, a ring on one finger, uh, a potion tucked into a belt pouch, and then his horse has a set of saddlebags on it that look like they're packed with things. Cool beans. Um, let me get out. I need to organize my character sheet. I say that every single episode. Um, and yet it never happens. Let me pull out my random equipment document. Um, I mean, so basically, I'm looting the fuck out of him. I'm about to take. Uh, I, I mean, I take the ring off his finger. Do, Do you put it? it on yours? Not yet. Okay. Uh, please write down Steel Truth Seer ring so we just know whose it is. Yeah. Paladin loot. Um, all right. And he's got a potion. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's got his arms and his equipment. Does he have, like, a coin pouch? He does not have a coin pouch. Okay. Um... I disarm him. Okay. So, like, I, I, but I think I load it up in the horse's saddlebags. As you approach the horse, it like, whinnies and backs away from you and snorts. Um. I mean, I'm a proficient horse rider, so I think I know how to handle myself around horses. I mean, I'll try and, like, calm the creature. I don't know if I can handle handling, but I don't know. I'm going to try and I'm trying to gauge if it's if it's fees. I mean, it's it sounds like it's well enough trained that it's like you're not my owner. I'm not going to let you. Yeah, it seems pretty unhappy with you. Mm -hmm. Um, It's not at the point where it's attacking you, but as you try to approach it, it pulls back. It's not tied up or anything. Um, it... And snorts at you, and doesn't seem like it wants to interact with you. What do its saddlebags look like? Uh, there's clearly a lance on the other side of the horse. Um, that's the only thing that you given can tell. Me, given me no choice, Steel. I can't transport you with my own horse. I guess I can make the horse specifically for him. Stupid horse! Stupid horse! I shout at the stupid horse. <laughs> Got one HP. I'm not fucking around with the war horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you, I grumble as I cast my phantasmal steed ritual. It takes a turn. 
Uh, does the phantasmal steed spook other horses? Yeah, it does. It scares the crap out of this horse. Fuck off, horse. Is it actually called phantasmal steed? Yes. And I will cast it with the intention of using it to transport equipment. To tra I mean, I make it for this guy. Um, I can't find Phantasmal Steed. That can't be its oh, name. Oh, Phantom Steed. There we go. Um, let's see. Can bear the rider's weight plus 10 pounds per caster level. So rider's weight plus 50 pounds. I'm, I don't know if it... Does that mean it just can't carry any more than that? Yep. That, there's no, like, encumbrance. It just can't. Yep. Just can't. Yep. All right, so I'm probably going to... Oh, we're going to be moving at movement rate shit anyways. God, fuck this. God, do I just, like, harvest his soul right here and leave his body for the wolves? Uh, so anyway, when you cast Phantasmal Steed, the heavy war horse bounds off to a distance of 100 yards before it turns back and whinnies and rears up on its hind legs um, yeah. and keeps a, a close watch on its owner from a great distance. And we trudge. So I, I make the Phantasmal Steed for the Paladin, use it to transport his body and his how much? So fifty pounds. How much does Splint Mail weigh? Forty pounds. Okay. And okay, so it can. Okay, so it can actually carry all of this shit. Maybe not the shield. Is the, the shield wasn't magical though? No, the shield is ten pounds. The armor is forty pounds. The sword is five, four pounds. Um, he's got six to one pounds so of gear nice on him. So the, my fan, my horse just won't move once it's once it's loaded. Is right. Right. So, uh, since he's got 61 pounds of gear on him, if you take the potion and drop the shield... Oh, no, because yeah. he, he doesn't have his dagger anymore, so he's got 60 pounds of gear on him. But I can... You leveled me down. So right, I so can you can carry 50, 50, so all he's got to do is drop his shield. And does the shield have a giant sigil of a stair on it? Yes, it does. The shield weighs 10 pounds, so you can take that and be... Rather... I think I, like... Oh, God. Load up the shield with shit and use it to... um the bigger question here is how do you get the steel truth seer on the horse are you just trying to frustrate me into sacrificing a soul i mean i don't i don't know what i mean I, i'm weak as shit if you want to say that i can't that seems reasonable but how what's your current strength six I mean, he's way more. I mean, max press is like fifty-five pounds. So if you're, so I can't drag him onto the onto the steed. Um, can a phantom steed kneel down? Probably. He can probably do all the things a normal horse can. Uh, what's the duration of the phantom steed? Uh, five hours. Okay. So I think if you struggle with this for like forty-five minutes or something, you can like get this phantom steed to be crouch down as low as possible and you can like drag the body over and you know use the staff as leverage and slowly tilt him on but it's an embarrassingly long process to get the guy on the horse yeah if anyone was watching you would you'd be embarrassed but you're alone I for the time being I'm trying to be a good per i don't know what i'm trying, trying to, to be do. a good person what can i ride the steed or no uh, you made it specifically for... Yeah, it says... Yeah, and that's what I'm wondering, if I can change my plan. Wizard creates a quasi-real horse-like creature, can be ridden by the wizard who created it, or by any person whom the wizard specifically creates such a mount. Yeah, so only for him at this point. And I guess we're following through with the plan. This guy's going to the dungeons. Yeah, so I got five hours. Can um, God the horse? I head back for my stuff, and then I was planning on heading for the keep. Okay, you head to uh, the keep. Um, can I make it there in five hours? At I don't even know what I could. Yeah, because you're only you're like a. Um... 
in five hours, uh, four hours, because you spent an hour packing the horse and everything, you can probably make it back in four hours. Unless, what's your movement rate? Six? Um, five? Yeah, once I get my stuff, it will be six. I will have to leave the shield behind, I think. Yeah. If it's think... six, you can make it to the keep within four hours. Okay. Um, do you cut through moved. town? No. No. Okay, so you're going to take the... Yeah, Shorter the distance, but probably the longer route because it's over uneven yeah. terrain. All right. Um, was there anything? So he doesn't have it. He's got his sword mm -hmm. in his armor. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I took the ring and the potion. Right. Um, you make it to the Mott and Bailey some hours later. Um, I, I don't even know what Gerard looks probably the shittiest he's ever looked in his whole life <laughs> Kel Crystal is at the gate um, standing over it as you approach I glower at her do I need to say anything or does she open it in anticipation like usual she does not open it she calls out to you Carl word has reached us that there is a paladin seeking you for crimes that... What is that on your horse? I don't know about any paladins, but I've got an interloper for the dungeons. Open up. I need to see Lord Song. Is that the paladin on your horse? I don't know who the governing body is that certifies these fanatics. But the... But the loony wa was clamoring about a stare in addition to liches and phylacteries and all manner of other craziness. Carl, so did you murder this man? <clears throat> I smirk. Just open the door. Give me a charisma check. Haven't drained that. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Should have earlier. She stands atop the gate and says, "I'm sorry, Carl. I can't do that. I will call for Lord Song, though." Hurry up. He's bleeding. Uh, a few minutes later, Lord Song and Kel Greller and Kel Crystal all stand along the battlements. By, looking by down now, at I've you. like unloaded my shit on the ground, so I'm unencumbered and just like leaning casually against my quarterstaff in front of this phantom horse. Yeah. Uh, she looks down. They all, they all look down at you, and Baron Song calls out, "Carl, I hear a paladin, Steel Truthseer, has come here looking for you." Word is spread all throughout town, and even through the keep. You know this man? By name only. And not slowly. He did not come seeking me. He came seeking... Devils, spirits. Who knows what these fanatics are after. This man broke into my home. Refused to leave. Falsely accused me. Challenged me, fled and fought and failed. It is only to, out of courtesy to you that I leave him alive. It is well within my rights. He's alive? Why the hell do you think I'm here? Open the damn door and let's talk about o this. Open the door, Crystal. Open it. Uh, he's alive, I hope. <laughs> Check his pulse one more time. He's, he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> um, they open the doors and bring you and the man in on horse. Mm -hmm. As uh, as he's, he's like coming down the stairs from the wall. Mm -hmm. I st I, this this fanatic disrespected me and my home in front of the town, in front of your sheriff, while they all stood and watched. You call him a fanatic, but he has a lot of sway. These paladins... 
Sway, he's a dead man. These paladins least... are powerful figures, both in force and in politics. It would be unwise for the head of my magic facilities to be killing a paladin in the streets of my town. Do you understand what that does for us, Carl? <clears throat> well, fortunately it wasn't finished in your town. The coward ran. Well, take him inside. Bring him into my or war room. He tells his servants who pick up the body um, off of your phantom steed. Although they, they're a little scared to approach the horse. It I takes some it's urging. It's probably almost creepier that the horse doesn't react to them. Like it's not. I mean, it's like eerily still. It's mm -hmm. not like making usual random horse movements. They're but pretty they nervous, it and it like stands like a table or whatever, like waiting. For, I mean, for them mm -hmm. to unload the body. It's probably easier to unload from this horse than from a regular horse. That's like. Probably, but they're really nervous about approaching this phantom steed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was, um, yeah. But eventually they get the body off and drag it upstairs. Kel Crystal looks at you with that disapproving glare of hers. Um, um, I, yeah. But soon you are up in the war room with... I think I, I'm holding on to his sword at this point. Like, the, the sword was, like, laying... I, like, I, I disarmed him, so I think the sword was, like, somehow or another laying across the phantom steed. Mm -hmm. Not still attached to him. Okay. So like, as I'm grab gathering my things, I guess I pick up his sword. Sure. And that was... He didn't have any other weapons? Uh, no, he threw his other one. Yeah. Kind of want to make a collection of these daggers that asshole knights have thrown at me. <laughs> And I'm like vis I'm visibly limping. Don't have the strength for this shit. It's right. supposed to be my week off. You get back up into your room, uh, or up into the the war room. It's you, Kel Greller, Baron Song, and the Paladin who's been laid out on the table after the maps have been cleared away from it. His armor has been taken off, so it's just his body. Um, he's still wearing clothes, though course his clothes are pretty soaked through with blood <clears throat> the two older men stand at either end of the table inspecting the body i think i'm I, kind I of waiting for you to speak with, well you say these paladins are valuable now you got your very own and then i like step into the room i was probably well behind the men actually because i'm so encumbered mm -hmm. <laughs> so i like limp over to the to the table in the war room This is Steel Truthseer. At least that's the name he goes by. I doubt it's the name he was given at birth. He is one of the few paladins in Eridon. His absence would be noted. If this man dies... Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <clears throat> he when he wakes up he'll be all piss and vinegar he this is not a man that will stop fighting we can I don't know what we can do I can I considered making the body disappear into the plains but it seems that it was probably the right choice to keep him alive Yes, I am glad you had the wisdom to do that. Even though it is drained by four. His horse and shield are still somewhere west of town. Hmm. The Baron Song goes out, opens the door to the hallway, tells one of the servants to dispatch some men to gather the paladin's horse and shield. Um tells them to take some horses and it shuts the door and comes back in. We have quite the dilemma here. If this man dies in our company, 
I believe we would all be on the gallows. <clears throat> he... Is that how things work in this land? This man because of... I don't even know why. He's a crazy person. He's a he holy paladin. Your town and command your sheriff. Enter any home he pleases. Yes. Throw around wild accusations. He this speaks for the gods. He does not act improperly. If he was coming after you, he had a reason. I thought we had cleared up all this truth and lies business long ago. The sheriff and her men have confirmed he was calling you Georg the Lich Guard and come seeking the phylactery of Drexel. Uh, Kel Greller speaks up and says, I think I know what he's looking for. He walks around the table and approaches you. Comes <clears throat> very close to you. Uh, and then reaches a hand for the parting of your robes for your amulet. I like, I like, take a step back. Like, I don't like Greller like touch me or lay his hands mm -hmm. on me. It's like, yeah, it's like I, I reach in my amulet and or my into my robes and pull it out. Um, I actually, oh, no, I can't let Lord, Lord Spawn can't have this shit. I was thinking of like handing it to him. But. If it comes off of you, you lose your 19 int, and any spells that you had memorized over your maximum or learned over your max limit is gone. I haven't hit that limit yet. Oh, beautiful. I'm, yeah, but I, I remove it and like let it dangle. Okay. Um, um probably maybe not. Ah, uh, whatever. Amulet or sigils of Malchus facing whichever way they will. Okay. Baron Song looks at it and looks at you he and was goes, "Seeking this, but the phylactery of Drexel." Is this it? I don't think it's a phylactery. Just a very powerful artifact. And it may once have belonged to a sorcerer named Drexel. A sorcerer? A lich, Carl. A lich. <clears throat> a lich who served I... Malchus during the War of Creation. Sounds like a badass to me. No, I don't say that. I don't say that. <clears throat> yes, I have heard such things. Well, what do we do when he comes awake? <clears throat> I don't know. He's my gift to you. Hmm. Maybe not a maybe not a great gift. Maybe more problems and complications than he's worth, but I could have killed him. It was in within and my rights as far as I me. see it. What's that? It pleases me that you could take down such a beast. Political sway or not, this man was a loony. Why? What makes you think he was a loony? They say he only hears the truth, that lies cannot... He cannot lies. be swayed, swayed by He's... untruths. He was sent here by Rohana, a diviner in the, in the east... I very much doubt no that God, a wizard no sent divine him here. truth. Wizards. <clears throat> where where is this order? Where is this man from? Paladins in this land are a rare breed. I don't know about where you come from. But here they answer to no one but the gods themselves. There is no training facility. There are a few born with the gift. Very few. It's probably only four or five in all of Eridon. Well, I look down at the paladin. This fanatic 
sentenced me to death. And I do believe that involves some sort of oath or pact with his dark gods or what have you. But I think if he regains consciousness, he's he's coming back for me, whether or not I am this... I don't even know what he thinks thinks I am or this is, and I like jingle the amulet as if it's some trinket. Perhaps we just give him the amulet. Let him go. Like hell. I would not trust this man with a with a with an artifact so powerful. He is a paladin. He would not do wrong with it. His morals are beyond those of normal men. His... I'm a little surprised to hear like Lord Song have respect for this for this order. Damn it, he mumbles. This is not what we need right now. I have received word that Aldric, the conjurer, will be arriving here in... Oh, that will not go well. In yes, yes, I correspond with days. Aldric, but I'm, I'm well, sure he will... so. Yeah, yeah. As it, yeah, I've corresponded with Aldric, but... He, no doubt, has heard or spoken with his paladin. He's... I... Uh, sorry, yes. I will be seeing Aldric, we'll may be complicated, but did he send word to you? Only that he asked permission to stay here in the keep while he came through. Apparently he is looking for the same thing this paladin is. This Georg, the Lich Guard. Carl, this is not the first time someone has come through our town accusing you of being this Georg. Go ahead. Ask it. Are you Georg the Lich Guard? <clears throat> I do not know about this Lich Guard, but a man wears many names in his life, just as our friend Steel Truthseeker was not always Steel Truthseeker. I was not always Ark Carl. Yes, I have been known in some lands and sometimes as Georg. <clears throat> 